Hello Stampers! Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you from a very wonderful Menasha, Wisconsin. Today our weather was really, really nice. Um, I didn't get to spend much time outside, but what I did do was run in and out the front door without a jacket on. <laughs> Hi Jody, welcome. Um, you actually popped up twice, that's funny. Pat's here, welcome, D. So yeah, we spent the morning cleaning out one of our bedrooms upstairs. So for those of you that follow me, or maybe you don't remember, this is a very old house. My house was built in 1900, so it's 120 years old. And um, we have five bedrooms. And it's just me and Steve now. Used to be filled with four kids, so we used to have six people in this house. But now it's just me and Steve. And... The kids are all off on their own, they're married, they're having babies, we got them through college, we don't have to pay their car insurance anymore, all the things, right? All the expensive things. Kids are really expensive, you all know that. <laughs> so now it's time to start fixing up this old house and um, that's what we're doing. So starting tomorrow we have um, a guy coming in, Dan is coming to redo one of the bedrooms upstairs. So I'm super excited about that. And we had to get it completely cleaned out. And it was Haley's old bedroom. And there were bears hanging all over in it. So what do you do with bears? You can't just like throw them in the attic. You, I mean, that'll wreck them. So um, yeah, we had to get everything cleaned out. So we took a whole bunch of stuff out. We put some dressers on the curb. Um, for people to take for free and people will pull up and take them away because they need a dresser and Steve also filled up the back of his truck with Goodwill so yay hi Debbie hi Beth welcome Teresa um, so I got to run in and out of the house a few times today and I'm like wow it's really nice out yeah and it's still light out here and that's exciting because then we know that spring is coming, right? And Jerry just said, kids are expensive, but so worth it. Absolutely worth it. But yes, uh, you know, when you have kids, I don't know about you, but I just felt like I was hemorrhaging money constantly. <laughs> That's what I like to call it, because it's like, oh my God, is there money for this and money for that and money for everything, right? So it's kind of crazy. But anyways, um, I pretty much spent the whole day in my office. Oh, I did get rid of my grays. So got that done and took a shower and I smell good. Yeah, I wanted to smell good for you guys. <laughs> it's a little weird. Is it too much? Weird. <laughs> hi, Ardella. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Nancy. Amy's coming in. Welcome, you guys. Don't forget to share my video. Um, you can click on that share button right now if you're watching on Facebook. If you're watching later on YouTube, I appreciate a share on my video. Give me a thumbs up. Click that like button. I always appreciate that. All of this stuff helps me grow. So that's really cool. Hi, Patty, Marsha, Mary, Mary. We've got two Marys right in a row. Cindy's here from um, the East, no, West Coast. I'm sorry, I almost said East Coast. We got Linda right here from in town and Christine. Yeah, lots of people popping in. So I had a pretty good week. I, I was working hard this week. Lots of stuff had has to had to go into place. You guys know that I'm doing a my kit class for March uses the Welcome Easter stamp set. Let's see if I have it handy. I do because we're gonna be using it tonight. So this cutie patootie little stamp set is my March kit and kind of funny, you guys. I was really pleasantly surprised because I didn't know that this would go over as well as it is. I guess that's a good way to put it because it is very kind of specialized. It's childish. You know, there's child. Um, this is great for making little kid cards and also cute Easter cards, but, um, and baby cards. And you know, you can make anything you want with it. Cause like once you buy it, it's your own stamp set. Right. But, um, I just really didn't think that the kit would go over as well as it has. And I was pleasantly surprised and very mistaken. So I want to tell you about that kit class. The kit is $45. It comes with the best dressed, a half a pack of six by six best dressed designer series paper, which is beautiful floral paper. And I'll show it to you when we start making the card. Um, Ardella says the smell of fresh air in my house in Wisconsin. I know it's pretty sweet, right? Because we've been closed up for a long time now. 
But winter's not over. I have no delusions on that. I mean, let's be real. We're going to get another couple snowstorms probably <laughs> here in Wisconsin anyways. But it, it feels so nice and springy. Um, and so that I didn't jinx anything, I'm wearing winter clothes. I got a long sleeve shirt on and my sweater. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want, I don't want to be responsible for jinxing things. I'm waiting for the next snowstorm. Um, anyways, back to my newest kit class, best dress designer series paper, gingham gala self-adhesive sequins, a wink of Stella pen, um, polka dot tool ribbon for $45. You get a pre-cut cardstock pack. There's going to be enough cardstock in there that's all cut and ready for you, pretty much, except the designer series paper, which comes in your kit, so you have to cut that yourself. But I tell you what size to cut it at and which ones to do. Um, eight cards worth of the stuff that's already pretty much cut for you. You can add on the stamp set for an additional $25. If you do add on that stamp set, you're gonna get to choose a celebration item. So that's really cool. You get a freebie in there. And uh, I have to say, I made the cards last week. They're stinking adorable, and there's a fun fold in there. That's all I'm going to tell you, because it's nice to have the surprise, right? So your online class comes with an email that has a PDF file in it. In that PDF file are written instructions, also pictures of the cards that you're going to make, and an um, exclusive video link that you can click on and go watch a video for each one of the four cards, you get to make two of them. If anybody's interested in ordering that March Welcome Easter kit, again, they're $45. You will find them on my blog, www.estampabove.com. Right-hand column, click on Online Classes. Or I think you can just go to my blog and it's gonna be the first post because I, I don't think I've posted anything on there since Friday. And. There's two more cards on there. Oh, where did they go? Hang on, because I had somebody here helping me the last few days. Um, I've got a, a friend who has come in and said she would help me organize my office. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that because I don't have time to do it. I just don't have time. So she has, she spent, you guys remember me talking about my tap? Oh, I don't know where those cards went. Remember me talking about those taxes, my taxes last week? Well, she came in and took my whole bin of receipts because I just throw everything in a bin all year long and she sorted it all out and put it into my little files for me so I can add it all up and get my taxes going. Ooh, I hate taxes. But anyways, she also took what I do with my cards, that I'm making all these cards, right? What do you do with all of them? Well, I mail some of them out to you guys for thank you cards. Um, but for the most part, I take um, cards and envelopes and put them in a photo box and when people ask me to donate for um, different raffles for fundraisers and stuff like that I donate a box of cards so it's pretty sweet and people kind of fight over them at the at the um, fundraisers so that's kind of cool too right yeah hi Sarah I'm so happy to see you come in here I see Mickey just popped in too welcome um, so that's going on then let's see we have a brand new promotion now this doesn't start till April 1st this is why I'm telling you about it if you decide to become a discount shopper with me you will get to order you can order this as part of your $125 in any product you want you can put this right into your kit and so that's pretty cool. And then that's one of the really cool benefits of being a discount shopper. Or you can build a business with it, whatever you want to do. But um, most people are discount shoppers. And um, we get to pre-order stuff early. And for me, it's a godsend because I need to be making things with these new products to show them to you, right? Because this is my job. But as a discount shopper, you just get to order stuff early and get your hands on it early. And it's really cool. So if you decide to become a discount shopper, um, you can get your hands on this Ornate Garden Suite, some of the products in here, and add them to your kit and get them early. Now, what do you have to do to be a discount shopper? Well, you pay $99. You get to pick out $125 in any product you want. There is nothing predetermined here for you. Um, you get a 20% discount on all your future orders. You get a paper pumpkin kit. You also get 
the sampler pack of designer series paper. This is almost all our paper from our spring mini and celebration brochure. You will also get a little mini trimmer. I always hold it upside down when I'm backwards here. Little mini guillotine trimmer, which is really cool. And you get to add any stamp set of your choice, as long as it's orderable. Um, and you, as long as it's something you would have to pay for, like you can't get a celebration set because those you can only earn. Um, but you can get, if you can buy the stamp set out of our annual catalog or our spring mini catalog, you can get it for free as part of your kit. I always tell people, make sure it's an expensive stamp set because it's free, right? This is your free one. Make sure you get the expensive one. So that's what you get if you become a discount shopper with me. And I have a ton of people signing up weekly, you guys. It's the best deal of the year. Now, let me get to this. This ornate garden suite. Holy cow. My gosh, look at the beautiful products. Yeah, there's two different stamp sets, two different sets of dies. We have these, these beautiful dies, and then, yeah, we have edgelets. Ah, oh, I love edgelets, right? I see some hearts coming in. Thank you. Another word stamp set in this beautiful, beautiful designer series paper. Now, we just could order this on March mm, 2nd? No, I don't know when. Uh, oh, let me look. I don't know when pre-order was, but anyways, I have mine ordered and it's coming, but I don't have it yet to show it to you in real life. So if you'd like to get your hands on this early, you can buy the discount shopper kit and add these products to it. Now, I think I posted a flyer on my blog, um, maybe. If I didn't, just pop me a message and I'll send you this flyer so that you can put that on your kit. Don't everybody be popping me messages that you want the flyer if you're not going to be a discount shopper because, like, I can't fulfill all those requests. But if you're thinking about that, let me know. Julie Gillen says, on the 3rd, so it was Tuesday that um, we were able to pre-order this. So that's cool. So, Ornate Garden Suite coming to everybody else on April 1st. It's going to be available, um, let's see, it says till May 31st, but mm, I don't know. I thought it was longer than that, but we'll see. Okay, let me set this down. I have, what else do I have for you guys tonight? Um, if you guys saw my Facebook post, you saw that Molly Jo turned nine. My Molly Jo turned nine over the weekend, and so we went to her birthday party yesterday, and it was super fun, and I made unicorn popcorn. It was just adorable. Did you know there's spray you can spray on food and color it? Yeah, so, oh, um, somebody just asked about the coordinating colors listed on, oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, the coordinating colors for the designer series paper gives us a little sneak peek into one of the new in colors that are coming. I forgot all about that, so thank you for telling me. Um, one of the new colors is going to be called, oh, what is it? It's not on here. I've seen it. I can't remember what it's called, but they didn't, they didn't list it in here. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Who knows? Somebody here knows because I saw it someplace. Yeah. You guys know I have a terrible memory, right? <laughs> and there's your perfect example of my terrible memory. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here we go. We're getting lots of messages. I'm not scrolling. So buttercup. Yes. So, um, yeah, it'll be in the big catalog in June. Yeah. And, oh, what will? I missed something. Sorry, you guys. Oh, my battery's low. Hang on. That'll be a disaster. I didn't plug in yet. Sorry for the jiggle. Let me get my cord pinned up here. Yeah, there's all kinds of crazy stuff goes on behind the scenes here. Bumblebee. Yay! Um, yeah, so I'm thinking that's going to be kind of yellow, right? I would think so. Hi, Brooke and Tara. Welcome. Um, what else is happening? I do have some painted poppies, pre-cut cardstock packs left. Hang on, I'm grabbing one. This is what a pre-cut cardstock pack looks like. So everything, all the cardstock layers are in here, not everything. But um, this is my online class. And this is a little different than my kit class. My kit class includes everything. 
ribbon, embellishments, all that kind of stuff. But my um, other online class is a pre-cut cardstock pack. That's exactly what it is. It's just cardstock. You have to have the designer series paper. I tell you exactly what sizes you need. I have several of these painted poppies online class packets left. So if anybody wants to get their hands on those, let me know. And you have to order the March Welcome Easter Kit by 3.13 at noon Central Time because that's when I'm going to kind of be putting the order in. If it's still up on my blog and available to click on the link to order it, it's still available. So just know that sometimes when I say 3.13, I don't actually get to closing things out until the next morning or something. If it's still available to click on an order, don't hesitate. Just go ahead and order it. And... Um, yeah, I'm just reading, I'm reading comments here. Then, uh, la, 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 la. I wanted to tell you, if you ever have trouble entering my host code, which I'll show you in just a few minutes, just go ahead and put your order in without it. I can always get it, get your order moved over to that host code. So I don't want you to go, oh, I can't get it to work. And now I'm not going to be able to finish my order because that's like hateful, right? I hate, I hate when stuff like that happens. Now, this week coming up, Thursday, I have a blog hop with the One Stamp at a Time design team, and we are going to be featuring Easter or animals. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to be using, but I was thinking that I might use this set. Have you guys seen this? Super cute. I might. I'm not making any promises. Or, I have another, oh, look it. I haven't used this yet. I just got this not too long ago. Inspiring irises. And irises always remind me of Easter in springtime, right? Um, Wendy's asking how to order extra poppy cardstock. Well, you can go right into my store and type in poppy and the cardstock will come up and you click on add it to your bag. Um, is that what you're asking me? Maybe? I think so. <laughs> so, um... Anyways, something with Easter or animals is coming on Thursday for a blog hop, so make sure you check that out. And again, my blog, www.estampabove.com, you'll find that there. Saturday, the Stampers Dozen has a blog hop, and I'm on their design team also. And um, we are going to be featuring things from Celebration. The theme is the final days of Celebration because don't forget you guys, March 31st is the last day of Celebration. It is the last day that you get to pick something free from the Celebration brochures when your order reaches $50. And then we also have the level two, which is when your order reaches $100, you get to get free stuff. So don't forget about that. Um, it'll be over before we know it. And also, getting this little guillotine cutter, that ends on March 31st, as well as getting that extra free stamp set of your choice and this wonderful pack of, sampler pack of designer series paper. All ends on March 31st, so that's coming up quickly. Do you guys see how nice these flowers are looking? I had to take one little bunch out of here because I forgot to water them. Yeah, and it kind of went bloop. But I took it out and tossed it and got them back in there. And those are all from Haley's Baby Shower. So, yeah, pretty. Okay, next up. Um, ba -ba 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 oh, I think I got through everything. What is this? I don't know. More notes. I'm not going to read them. Had enough of that. I have some exciting news. Are you guys ready for this? So, remember last week my um upline my team leader gave me this chain and this is a progress change uh, chain i am i have reached into the last hundred thousand dollars in sales i need to get to a million dollars career to date sales now for stamping up demonstrators that is a huge big deal because stamping up gives us like a ton of stuff when we hit a million dollars it's like a big huge celebration as well it should be right and I think there's only like 37 other demonstrators in the world that have hit that so far. I know. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. But anyways, um, my team leader, Anne, gave me this progress chain. And on the first one is $910,000. So when I hit $910,000, I should tear that off. Boom. I have hit it. And I think that we need to celebrate, right? <laughs> I know. So 
I decided every time I get to get rid of one of these chain links, getting me to the next phase, to the next $10,000 in sales till I get to a million, I'm going to give away a stamp set. I might do something else too. I don't know. I haven't really thought about this much, but I'm like, I need to do something special, right? So thoughtful blooms. I just happen to have an extra one here and I will be giving this away to somebody who's watching tonight. Um, make sure that if you're coming in here, you're leaving at least one comment so you can get entered into a drawing to win the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set. I love this little bugger and I know you will too. Oh, I happen to have, hang on. Oh, I can't show you that card yet because I haven't really made it public. But I do have this one. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, isn't that pretty? It uses um, the Coastal Weave embossing folder on this side. Yeah, this is, this is that stamp set. A lot of times people don't know what to do with these stamps that just have a lot of bunch of little images in them, but oh my gosh, I always have a blast with them. I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna be giving this away to help me celebrate tearing off a chain. And I keep this right here on my lamp. It's hanging right from my desk. So I'm watching my numbers and seeing when I hit that next $10,000 so we can give away something else. I don't know if it'll always be a stamp set, but I guarantee it'll be something pretty cool, right? Okay, I'm going to put this back here so I don't, you know what, I should put a note on it. Um, I'm going to put a note on it because otherwise I will forget. I'm horrible. Um, I have to put $10,000 winner. You're not getting 10 grand from me, but when I hit a million dollars, Stampin' Up! gives me $10,000. That's just one of the fabulous gifts that you get for hitting a million. Is that crazy? That is crazy. But I'm looking forward to it. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Probably sink it into this house. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll go on a fabulous trip. I've always wanted to go to Australia. Hmm. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. Next, I have cards to share with you. People send me cards. And I love it. And Sharon Jones, bless your heart. Look at how cool this one is. Love, love, love it. So Sharon sends me cards frequently. Oh, look at the inside. Yeah, you can write right over this designer series paper. This is all part of the Tropical Oasis bundle. Love this bundle. She also did the flap on her envelope. Isn't that just cute? And stamped the little pineapple. Whoops, over here. Yeah, very pretty. Sharon, you're on here. Yeah, thank you very much. It's beautiful. I love it. We're going to put that baby right back here. All right, next I have a card from Cindy Kittner. Oh, this is a really pretty one too. Look at this. They're all really pretty, right? Let's be real. I love, love, love this. And Cindy sent me a card thanking me for the Looking Up Card Kit. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Cindy. Look how pretty that is on the inside too. I love that I'm getting you guys to decorate the insides of your cards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, next, we have a card. Oh, Haley gave me this one so that I could show everybody. I'm pretty sure this is from mm, Denise. Yep, Denise Nibbling. So Denise, Claudia, and Nancy sent gifts to Haley for the baby. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Like, she is so like, I'm like, Haley, you have some presents here. And she's like, from who? I'm like, from my customers. She's like, you have got to be kidding. I'm like, nope. Stampers are the nice people in the world. So here we go. Little ladybug. And I don't have the gifts to show you, but look at this. Here we go. Boop. Yeah. Isn't that just the cutest? And it all folds back together. Want me to do it again? I, oh, oh. And don't forget this. Boing. We got... We got a wobble in there, people. Yeah, little wobble. It's stinking adorable. So here we go, one more time. Boom. Oh, I did I did it wrong. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. And Haley said she really liked this iridescent thread. She's like, that's really pretty. <laughs> super, super cute. So Denise, thank you very much. Um, I can't show the little lady bug bag. And I think that's to hang on the back of a stroller. That's what Haley goes. She goes, I think this is to hang on the back of the stroller. And she loved it. So then um, Claudia sent the cutest little giraffe. She goes, every baby should need, every little baby needs a little baby giraffe. And you're absolutely right. 
Who knew that? Yeah, and then um, Nancy sent a gift basket filled with stuff and it had a tag on it that was the new 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 mom survival kit. And it had all kinds of funny little sayings on it about what you use all the things for, but there were a whole bunch of burp rags in there. Um, she also did a bag of really fun socks because the mama needs something too. Not baby socks, but girls like Haley socks. And she was just so touched by that, you guys. It's just the sweetest thing. Then I got a card from Wendy Morse. I hope I'm saying your name right, Wendy. Okay, hang on a second. I got to show you this beautifulness. Look at that. Oh, so sad that this paper is no longer available, but you can still do lots of gorgeous things with the B set. And then look at the inside. Yeah, she put the dye, the honeycomb dye in there. Is that not the coolest? And she said, congratulations on your amazing sales figures. She's not surprised. She sees how much I work. My videos are creative, informative, and super fun. And she loves my card kits. Wendy, that is just the sweetest. Thank you so much. I love, love getting these. I have one more to show you guys. And this is from, mm, let's see, Meyer. Oh, Lisa. Oh my gosh, Lisa, you're going to just like go, oh my Lord, did she really not know? This is actually my sister. So isn't that beautiful? This is a paper pumpkin kit and I love, love, love this. It is just gorgeous. And um, Lisa just started selling some product and I bought something from her. So she wanted to thank me and let me know when the product comes in. So thank you, Lisa. I love that kit absolutely gorgeous let's put that right over there I have some more here hang on I gotta get these okay let's put this one over here I had that one on last week see if I can do it without throwing everything on the floor and then the ladybug oh I have to give this back to Haley but until then I'm gonna put her put this one right there perfect I always like when my office is all kind of decorated up right yeah okay I have stuff to give away. Yay. All right. Here we go. Who are our winners? So you guys know that I give stuff away every week, right? I give something away for um, commenting. So just for watching me or watching later. It doesn't matter whether it's now or later. Um, if you leave a comment, you will be entered into a drawing. And June just said, you're the best Stampin' Up! coach. June, thank you so much. I so appreciate that. Oh, and I see Lisa's on too. Loved your card, Lisa. Um, so, when you comment, you get entered in a drawing to win something fun. And guess what I have? Oh, this is the highly sought after metallic baker's twine and sequin combo pack that is no longer available. Yeah. And the lucky winner that left a comment last week on Facebook Live is Kathy Fennell of Sparks, Nevada. Kathy, are you watching tonight? I hope you hear your name. I'm going to be sending this off to you. And guess what? I actually even have all of my envelopes with postage on them. I am ahead of the game. What? Yeah, that never happens. Set that right over there so I don't lose it. Then I have something else that's highly sought after. When you share this video, so click on that share button right now and you'll get entered. <laughs> Susan says, pick me, pick me, pick me, please. Um, when you share the video, I also do another drawing. And guess what I have? Kerchief card kit. These are highly sought after. These were so popular that we ran out of them like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And I just happen to have a few. Yep. And this one is going to Sarah Freetag of Eugene, Oregon. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing my video. Thanks to everybody for sharing the video. Oh, Kathy is on here. Great, Kathy. You're a winner. We're all winners, right? But this one is going to go to Sarah Freetag of Eugene, Oregon. Watch your mail. And it's going to be really fun mail, too, because hang on, and I'll show you the envelope that I have. I got some pretty cute envelopes. Oops. Here we go. This is the envelope. Yay. Yeah, I, I love fun stuff, right? So even that matters. Are you guys the 
kind of people who go to the post office and when you buy stamps, you want to see all the different kinds and pick one out? Or are you the ones like, just give me some stamps? Nope, I have to see them and I have to pick out which one I want. And I don't know why it matters. Like, why does it matter? But it matters. Last but not least, for placing an order with me in the last week, I also do a drawing. And the big winner for that is Kay Hopkins of Sandy, Utah. Boom! You are going to win this full of happiness stamp set. I hope you love this. Um, like I said, I might be using it for the blog hop on Thursday. I'm not sure yet, but I'm not, I don't want anybody to hold me to that because squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. My head goes in a million different directions, so we never know. But Kay's got one of these coming her way, and this also goes out in a fun little envelope. I like fun. <laughs> I like fun envelopes. So there we go. I am, I am ready. Whoops! For the mailman tomorrow. Okay. Are we ready to stamp? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so let me ask you guys. I have a gazillion, not a gazillion, I have this many swap cards using happy birthday to you and the beautiful dies. Do you want to see those now or do you want to see those at the end? You let me know. Right now, tell me, what do you want? My throat is really dry. You guys are so nice saying congratulations to everybody. I mean, that's what I do too. It's like, oh, you won. That's awesome. I'm happy for people that win. You don't be sad because you didn't win. You'd be happy for the winners, right? That's the way I feel about it. I don't see anybody answering my question. I don't know. Okay. I am going to make an executive decision here. Oh, Denise just said yes now. Susan said later. What's next? End. Let's stamp. Jody wants to stamp. Terry says end. At the end. We're going with the end. Sorry. We'll look at these at the end. But please don't let me forget, okay? Because I'm really good at that. All right. I'm going to... I can't set those right there. I'm going to set these over here. Don't let me forget. All right. Now, there was one, oh, I think I'm going to start with my Easter card. I was going to say there was one card that I didn't really get to last time, but I had it ready to roll. I'm going to save that and do that one after this one because it leads into some other cards. You guys know that once I kind of open up a stamp set or a product, I kind of go crazy with it, and then I make a whole bunch of different things. Well, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. So, um... I will save that one card for later. This card I just came up with this afternoon. And it's pretty cute. So I think you'll like it. This also is using the Welcome Easter stamp set that is part of my um, March kit. So if you didn't order one of those and you would like some really fun Easter cards, I cut all the cardstock. Um, it's a great kit to have. And people have been asking me all week, if I do this, will that help you reach your million dollars? And if I do that, will it help you reach your million dollars? And that is so sweet. Ordering kits from me does help reach the million dollars because I have to order all the product that I say is going to be included in the kits. Plus, I have to order tons of cardstock to be able to cut up all the cardstock packs. So yes, yes, and yes, it helps. I still have a dry spot in my throat. Okay. I think we're ready. We're gonna flip. Let me put this away because I need some space here. Things started flying, right? I'm going to flip this around. And I was trying to think of something funny that Steve said to me earlier today. I was gonna share it with you guys and now I can't remember it. I should write this stuff down, but it made me really laugh. Um, oh, we were throwing stuff away. That's what it was. We were throwing things away He's a big thrower, and I'm kind of like, no, I need that. I can use that. No, I'm not getting rid of that. No. And he's like, get rid of it. I'm like, no. Um, oh, I know what it was. Okay, so the other day, I bought a baby present for us, for me and him. And I, and I told him this the other day. Um, we had a pack and play for any kids that come over. They can go take a nap in the pack and play. People bring babies or toddlers over, you know. And um, so I bought a new pack and play because our other one, I think it kind of broke. It wouldn't come up and down right anymore or something. I don't know. But I bought a new pack and play. 
He brings it in from the truck today and he thunks it on the floor in the kitchen. I'm like, oh my gosh, don't you love it? It's so cute. Like guys could care less, right? But that's how I, don't you love it? It's so cute. He's like, no, I don't love it. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he says, uh, I'm getting rid of stuff and you're bringing more stuff in. And I said, but it's just a little thing and it's super cute and it's for the baby. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> as long as it was for the baby, it was okay. Oh my Lord. So yeah, I bought a new pack and play and it's super duper cute. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and show it to you guys. We'll see. All right, we're ready to flip and start stamping. I got all my stuff out here. Do I have an ink pad? I do. I have a card over here. So I, oh, where's my cardstock pad? Right here. Okay. We're ready to roll. Hang tight. If you get sick to your stomach. Yeah. Sharon says it's a man thing. Yeah, I know. Hi, mom. My mom's on here. She just said, hi, honey. And I'm like, who's calling me, honey? Be my mama. <laughs> hi, mom. Love you. Okay. We're going to flip the camera around now. Oh, and by the way, big shout out to Brody if he's watching. Um, Brody is one of our family friends, and he says he comes on every time and watches a little bit. And he was at the party yesterday and said that last time I never acknowledged him. Brody, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. We're flipping. And here we go. There we go. Good deal. I'm not ready yet. So just hang tight. I got to get everything lined up here. It's get it's it's a little wiggly. Then I have to mirror my screen. Here we go. Hope I don't have fat fingers and cut you guys all off. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. Come on back. Oops, there goes my chain. See, it's right here. I'm not even lying to you. I wouldn't lie to you. What's the point? Okay, I need to pull myself up on my screen here so that I can see what is going on. And people are sending me messages. And I need them off my screen. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, Vicki Jakubiak, if you are watching tonight, you called me and left a message. Vicki needs to know some details about the Cozumel cruise that I went on because she's going on a cruise. I will get back to you tomorrow, probably. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to do that. So, I, do you guys love that you're my personal messenger for my messages? <laughs> it's kind of crappy, right? <laughs> but it's I just haven't had time to get back to her. Okay, I've got myself pulled up here. I am going to bring out my cardstock layers here and my little cheat sheet. Oh, did I just mess with my... Nope. Okay. I pulled on my cord and I'm like, oh, did I just screw up my camera? All right, here we go. Oh, and I have kind of a funny little thing that happened to me. So I'm doing the um, the cards for my kit class, right? Yeah. And I'm using the tool polka dotted ribbon, right? Yeah, well, guess what? I go to roll off the ribbon, and I've got like 12 inches left on a roll, and I don't have any more. Oh, my Lord. I was so, are you kidding me right now? That's what I was like. I'm like, I can't believe I just ran out of the tool ribbon when I'm using it for class cards. But I, I've got more coming. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. All right, here we go. First card. This is going to be a cute little Easter card, or you could use it for a baby card, or you could use it for a little kid birthday card. It's up to you. Crumb cake. Four by five and a quarter. Oh, thank you guys. Yes, I did plug in my phone. So thank you for checking on me because once I'm down here, I can't see up there. And if it says low battery, then we just get disconnected. It's, it's happened. <laughs> I've had that luck. Yeah. So we're going to fold this in half. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to take a four by five and a quarter inch piece of crumb cake cardstock. And we are going to emboss this in the basket weave embossing folder. Now, I love this folder and it always reminds me of Easter because like it's a basket, right? So Easter basket. Yeah. Once you do that, it's going to look like this. And it's so, so cool. This is one of our 3D folders. So we've got that. Then I've also got a piece of white. This is four by five and a quarter. This is going to be for the inside of our card. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. And then I'm bringing in this Best Dressed Designer Series paper. And this is so 
very, very pretty. One side is all florals. And look at how gorgeous it is. Oh, we got some stripes in there too. The other side matches the best dressed suite of products with the lipstick and the fingernail polish and the perfume. Isn't this super cute? Yeah, so complete florals on one side, which made this a great choice to use for the Welcome Easter cards, I thought. Okay, this little piece is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're going to take our basket embossed layer. Hang on, I don't think my screen is scrolling on my left. Oh yeah, it is good. Tonight it's scrolling, yay. And we're going to, now this is one of those 3D folders, so I always like to kind of do the glue around the outside, and I use a little bit more glue when I'm putting an embossed layer onto a card. Um, I don't like using tape runners for that because a lot of times the cards fall apart when you have an embossed layer going onto a card base or whatever. They just, they don't do well. So that's why I, use, I love, love, love my liquid glue. And then people will ask, well, where do, you, where do you get that liquid glue? I sell it. You can buy it right in my store. Which, by the way, this is my host code. This has changed since I saw you last week. This is a new host code that you can use if your order's under $150. If it's over $150, do not use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. Using the code when your order's under $150 gets me rewards so that I can give away fabulous things to people who win stuff, right? And it also helps me keep my supplies, like cardstock and glue and all that stuff, up to snuff. Okay, hang on, I got some glue on my hands. All right, now, I chose this pretty little floral pattern, and I am going to put a very shallow banner bottom on it. So I probably just cut a quarter of an inch right here in the center. And now I'm gonna come from this corner over to the top of that little cut that I just put in here, okay? That's a very shallow um, banner. And I like doing it this way because it almost it works almost perfect every single time. Just put that little slit in the middle and then come from the corners up to that slit. So now I'm going to just place this right here while I figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, and I'm going to bring in, this is one of our piercing mats. And I just covered it with some printer weight paper so that I don't stamp all over it. I'm going to bring in my Whisper White scrap. And also I've lost my ink pad. Hang on. I need a memento ink pad. I'm sure I have it in another bin. Oh, and that reminds me, I have no baby wipes here by me, so Lord help me that I don't need any of those, or we'll have to take a little intermission so I can go grab some. What are you guys drinking tonight? I am drinking my strawberry lemonade. That is a calorie reducer. Bev. Bev is my um, Optavia coach that helped me get healthy and lose 47 pounds last year. So I've got the drink that comes with the program. <clears throat> and I love it. Okay, you guys, let me know. What are you drinking? Tea? I got tea, water, Coke. Kathy says 442 people watching. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's awesome, right? Now, I'm going to take this cutie patootie little lamb, and I'm stamping my lamb in Memento ink. And I'm going to put my lamb right here. The other thing that I'm going to do is, oh, hang on. Where did my, oh, there it is. I'm going to take my Happy Easter and I'm going to ink it in crumb cake. But I'm only going to ink the Easter part. Now, you could do this several ways. The other day on my video, I took a post-it note and I covered up half of my stamp just like that, okay? I'm gonna ink. Now you gotta remember to take this off. Who's stamped and not taken the, the post-it note off? I've done that several times. <laughs> I'm a slow learner. Here we go. There's our little Easter, okay? Now I'm gonna bring in the teeny weeny little oval from the Stitch Shape Oval dies, and who has these? 
I want to hear from you guys. Who owns the Stitched Shapes dies? These are, I use these more than any other dies. If you do not have these, you need to get yourself some. I use these constantly. And they also layer up with our um, circle dies, our square dies, and our oval dies. So you can layer behind them with scallops and stuff. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love them. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to die cut this right here. Hang on, I'm going to close this up. We are going to... Um, oh, we need to color in our lamb first. So let's do that. Now... The lamb doesn't take a lot of coloring because I'm only going to color its face, but I like to start with the darker Smoky Slate um, Stampin' Blend marker, and I'm just going to come around and put some, what I like to call shading, around my little lamb on his little ear. Isn't he super, super cute? Yeah. This was, oh, this was the dark. I'm going to go down here and do his little, in my video the other day, I called them hoofs. It's hooves. Yeah, and I know that. We actually had sheep. Yeah, sheep and goats and pigs and all the things. Um, I kind of grew up on a farm. We didn't have cows, though. It wasn't a dairy farm. But we did have dairy cows on the farm. They, we just didn't own them. And so one of my jobs in the summer, one summer, was to... The um, watering things in the barn didn't work. The In the stanchions, they didn't work. So... One of my jobs was to water the cows for the farmer that had cows in our barn. He rented it. And uh, do you know how much water a cow can drink? Yeah, it's obscene. Obscene. And I was probably like, I don't know, 12 years old maybe. It was a lot to handle to carry five gallon, gallon buckets of water. And a cow could like drink three of those easily. It was horrible. <laughs> I definitely was not making much money. Okay, look how cute that is. Just a little bit of shading there. Then I am going to grab my petal pink and I'm going to take the light Stampin' Blend and do his cutie patootie little nose. Then I wanted to make, oh, I should leave that here so I can put it in with the product list. By the way, all of the dimensions for these cards will be above the video after we're done being live. I will go in and type them up so you'll have all the dimensions for these cards in case you want to recreate them. You'll also find a complete shopping list above the video. I will go in and you can click on a link. It'll take you right to my store so it makes things really easy. But I'm going to <clears throat> choose the... Oh, the I'm like, it only says French. <laughs> it says dark purple posy here to color my little lamb's collar and bow because I thought that would match up nice with my paper. <clears throat> and we're not scrolling again. So if I miss something that you guys are asking me, let me know. Oh, Volanda says that uh, I sold her on the blend, so she placed an order the other day and bought all of them. <laughs> it's going to be like Christmas at your house. Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to do to this little lamb is take your Wink of Stella, and this is why we included the Wink of Stella in the Welcome Easter kit class, because you can always use another Wink of Stella if you have one, and if you don't have one, you definitely need one. I am coloring in all the white parts of my little lamb with this beautiful glitter brush. And this just makes, I hope you, let me see if I can get that. Oh, wait, I got, I got to do a little more here. Can you see his sparkle? He is stinking adorable. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to die cut this in the big shot. I'm going to take my scissors, and we don't have dies for this. It's just a stamp set all by itself. So if you don't like cutting stuff out, you could like, punch out a circle and stamp your animal on there and you don't have to cut them out. But I already did that because through the magic of TV, there's my lamb and here's my Easter. Boom. All right. And I'll use this little lamb for something else because I've been, I've been coloring and cutting and I've got little pieces in here. Look at, oh, look at my little bunny. I just keep them right in my stamp set as I'm making them and coloring them. I'll use them for something else. But I'll do that with this guy too. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and add some dimensionals to the back of our little lamb. He's sparkling. Yes, Marsha, he is. He is. Yay. And now we can kind of start putting our card together. I'm also bringing in some of our um, pearlized doilies. You get a pack of 20 of these. Oh, I see this came from one of our cruises because it says Europe on it. That's funny. Um, and is it 20 that are in here? 24. 24 in here. One side is pearlized, so it's, you know, kind of got an iridescent look and the other side is plain white so you can do use a sponge and color these any color you want so that's pretty cool right I'm gonna take my um, doily and I'm gonna cut it in half because I want to spread it out behind my banner so in order to do this I'm gonna do what I call a dry fit here and I'm gonna put my little banner right here in the middle of my card and then I'm going to bring in this guy, this guy, my doily on one side and my doily on the other. And then I'm going to make sure they're centered nicely. That Oh, that looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? What do you guys think? Yep, that looks good. Okay, now what I'm going to do, watch this. Uh, I'm just going to put some glue on the back of here. We don't want to get too crazy with it, but this is going to keep my my doilies in, doilies in place also. And then I'm just going to pull this up because that way I could have put some tape on here. I could have done that, but this will work just fine. Now I want to look at it before. Oh, this one is sticking out a little bit more than the other one. Does that look good? Yeah. Hang on. Sometimes. There we go. Okay. Isn't that pretty already? It's just pretty. I love that. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my little lamb. And you could have used any of your little creatures for this. But I'm going to put my little lamb right here. I'm going to add my little oval to my card front with dimensionals also. Ooh, Ingrid said that her grandma always made lamb for dinner for Easter. I don't know if I've ever had lamb. I've eaten some strange things in my time, but I don't think lamb has ever been one of them. Like lamb chops? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, there's our little Easter. And then last but not least, remember I talked to you about the tool ribbon? I was completely out of it. So I had this bow from something else, and I just took it right off of there. Because I thought it was really important to have a little bow on here. Darn it. So that's what I did. I pulled it off of a different card. And as soon as my ribbon comes in, I will get some more. But I think I'm just going to put it. Like you would think I would put it right here. But I'm going to put it right over here. Because I think that's just a little bit different. Look how cute that is. Yeah, a little bit different offset. So I just tied my tool ribbon in a bow. Stuck it on the front. Now we need to do something with the inside. And I am thinking that we should stamp our greeting. And I think I want to use Highland Heather ink for the greeting. And now I'm going to stand up so I can maybe get it straight. Oh, I did pretty good. Then I'm going to use the cute little bumblebee again. There we go. I've got, oh, where's my daffodil? Little daffodil delight here. I'll let that dry just a touch. And then we could actually stamp another, well, do we want a lamb though? Let's, uh, I don't know if I want a chick. Let's do a little bit of a bunny. Let's do a tiny bit of bunny. I'm just gonna ink up my little bunny rabbit and I'm gonna put my little bunny rabbit right there. Yeah, that's gonna be cute. Okay, and I did it that way because all I need is a little tiny bit of color on here. I don't want to spend a lot of time coloring this part. Get that little nose in there. And then, of course, we're going to do the Wink of Stella on the inside also because why wouldn't you? 
If there's a place to use Wink of Stella, you always err on the side of make the effort and do it, right? Because Wink of Stella is so cute and it really does just add so much to your projects. There we go. And then I need to put a little bit of yellow on my B. And I think what I would do, you guys, hang on. Um, I am going to grab an envelope here. And where did my little, here it is. All right, we're gonna do a little cutting with our guillotine cutter. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna make my envelope match. So I need this to be about, mm, I think it's two and a half, isn't it? Let's look. Yep, two and a half inches. We're gonna go two and a half inches by six, I think. That's at six. Uh, two and a half, there we go. This is that little cutter you get for free when you join my team as a discount shopper. It's really nice to have on your desk because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Now, I'm just gonna put some glue on my envelope flap. Just a little bit, I'm scribbling very lightly. This goes right over the top. Yep, I like that a lot. Okay, and then you take your scissors and you just trim from this side and trim off the excess. Now, for those of you that are hoarding designer series paper, and you're like, oh my lord, I can't buy any more designer series paper because I have so much. You need to stop hoarding paper because it really does go out of style. Then your projects start looking old and not as attractive as they would have if you used the paper when you bought it, when it was trendy. So, stop hoarding your paper. <laughs> Use it up so you can get more, right? Okay, here we go. This is the inside of our cutie patootie little card. Oh, I see Ashley's on here tonight. Ashley is my partner from Canada that I do the monthly kit classes with. Ashley, your card was stinking adorable. If you guys didn't do that blog hop, you need to go check it out. Her card was super, super cute. All right, there's our Easter card. I'm trying to clean up here a little bit and having some difficulties. What do you guys think? Hang on, my thing's not scrolling again. <sighs> Trudy, please, please, please don't send people to Amazon. <laughs> I work super hard here. And uh, I know people are just being helpful, but when you send them off to buy supplies someplace else, mm, it's painful. Okay, we are going to clean our stamps up. And this is just another great little Easter card for you to make with the set. And again, like I said, if you would like to get the kit, it's available to order with or without the stamp set. If you order it with the stamp set, it's an additional $25. And the kits will be going out in the mail on the 23rd of March. So you'll have them in plenty of time for Easter. But isn't that stinking adorable? Yeah. Okay, let me put all this stuff away. I'll leave this out here just in case I need it again. And I'm going to put this away so I don't lose it. Here we go. All right. Intermission time. Take a drink. Have a beverage. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was these um, Gingham Gala adhesive back sequins. And, of course, if you wanted to, you could add some of these. Now, I think the front of my card has, you know, quite a bit going on. So I'm not, I'm thinking that maybe not, but I think that one of these little flowers would certainly look absolutely adorable. There we go. Isn't that cute? Woohoo! There you go. Okay. Let me get out our next project. Oh, this is another thing I was considering using. And I can't even remember, these are faceted gems, but um, because of the purple, I thought they would look pretty in here too. Yeah, these are, are in colors, so that those are cool. 
Okay, now we're ready to move on. Hang on, not scrolling. There we go. I can't see what anybody just said, so there we go. If you guys, if I miss um, if I miss a comment or a question from you, please keep asking it until I see it because my screen on my laptop is not scrolling up and I'm down here now. I'm not above my phone where I can see really what's going on, so it gets a little bit tricky. All right, where's my other card? Oh, right here. This is the one that I didn't do for you guys last week because I ran out of time. So I'm going to do this. We're going to be using that beautiful specialty vellum paper. This is called So Very Vellum. It's free with your $50 order. And I have to say that it's really, really been fun creating stuff with it too. So oh, I don't know what that's all about. Here we go. I am going to bring in the Itty Bitty Greetings stamp set. And, oh, what's going on here? Got all my cardstock layers. And lots of dimensionals. Apparently I need a lot of them for this card. Oh, look it. Here is my light purple posy marker that I was looking for because I couldn't find it. I hate it when that happens. All I had to do was look and see where it was. Um, in my bin. Okay, now I need to get out some of that. Um, not only are we using the vellum, but we're also using the Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series paper. So I'm going to bring in the floral here. If you guys haven't seen this yet, I made a bunch of cards with it last week. You can go check those out. They are so, so pretty. What I'm going to do here because I am going to take one of these solid, like this is a whole flower right here. You also have double flowers. So you can do double flowers if you want. I'm just gonna do a single flower. But I think a double flower would work really good for what I, what I have planned also. So here we go. And I'm just cutting this out. Now, you get quite a bit of paper in this pack. And again, this paper, is part of our celebration promotion. You get it free with a $50 order. You get a whole 12 by 12 pack of it. And I'm also gonna grab some of the pool party. So you get pool party, purple posy, and what is that? Is that, um, hang on, soft sea foam, different colors. And this is all embossed. Look how pretty that is. It's so, so gorgeous. Love it. And I need my, oh, that's why I had these over here. I almost put them away because I'm like, I don't know why these are out. Um, I'm taking my Stitch So Sweetly dies, and I'm going to grab this biggest one. So we're going to take this, and we are going to run it through the big shot. And then when we do that, we end up with this. And look at it, it's got those cute little scallops, the little stitching around the edge that's stinking adorable. Lower left, what is the green glob that is on my desk in the lower left? This is my glue lid, is that what you're talking about? I think that's what you meant, Barb. <laughs> so sorry, that's my green glob. Okay, so this is what I just did here. And now we're gonna take this Whoops, I got stuff falling. Hang tight with me here. And I am going to color this. And you can color this beautiful paper with our Stampin' Blend markers. I'm not doing anything fancy here. I am just coloring. And I love that you can color big areas like this and not see scribble marks because I do not like scribble marks. I don't like what they look like. Now, see I just made a boo-boo there. I went inside and I want that part to stay white. I'm gonna bring in my color lifter and I'm just gonna color over it until that purple is gone. And now this is gonna dry, so it's like a magic eraser. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, coloring this flower. Now you can do some really cool shading here if you wanted to with the dark and the light combo, but I just want a really quick and simple card here. 
Yeah, Denise says she loves the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I do too, and I wish I would have started using them earlier. I'm a little slow getting out of the gate on some of this stuff. And it's just because I get, I don't know, I just get wrapped up. Like I did a ton of stuff with the Birthday Bonanza bundle, and I had so much fun with it. And then when you do that, it doesn't allow you to have the time to work with other things, right? So I'm just, I have so much fun with these new products. And I find that if I stick with them a while, it keeps me with good ideas, I guess, is a good way to say it. So, again, this is the um, dark purple posy, light purple posy. And I'm just going to color in all of these little, oh, I might be cutting some of those off, too. Oh, yeah, I really do cut them off because <laughs> I don't want to cut them out. So, again, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut these out. I have to do just a little bit more coloring here, too, because I kind of got ahead of myself. But this is really, really easy. To cut this flower out and I'm kind of leaving a little bit of a white border on it so you don't have to get real close and then that makes it super simple too right this is what I actually cut off is these little beads because I don't I don't want to cut around them it's your card you get to pick and choose what you want to keep and what has to go and these flowers are just so so pretty and there we go. I usually I would have this all cut out, but I wanted you to see how easy this was. And quite frankly, I didn't realize that I didn't have one cut out. <laughs> yeah, not going to lie to you. <laughs> That's not what I do. There we go. Okay, now we've got all that done. I'm going to come in with my green. I am using Old Olive Light. Again, I wanted this to be just very soft and subtle. And it's super, super easy. And there's no scribble marks with Stampin' Blend markers. So uh, for those of you that don't have these alcohol markers, you will be astonished when you get them at how beautiful they make everything so you don't have those little scribble marks like with regular markers. And you only really deal with that when you're doing bigger coloring areas, right? Okay, then as long as I've got it right out here, I'm going to do a little Wink of Stella right in the center of my flower because I thought that was a pretty good idea. And next, we're going to get our card in here. Oops, my Wink of Stella just flew right off my desk. Here's our card base. I've got a Whisper White Thick here, and this is four and a quarter by 11 and I'm going to fold it and burnish that edge and I got find the bone folder here it is burnish that edge and then I'm going to come in here now a couple different things you can do when you're dealing with vellum I don't like seeing the glue or the adhesive or whatever through the front of my vellum right so if you're going to be adding a layer to your vellum, you can actually, down here is where my flower's gonna go. So, whoops, gotta open it. <laughs> That's helpful. I'm gonna put some adhesive right there. Okay, my flower's gonna cover that up. And then I'm gonna leave the other part kind of flapping in the wind because I did that a little quick, but you'll see what I'm gonna do here. Next, um, Oh, I've got this here. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe we should do something with it. This is our copper foil sheet. I don't know why I have one, but now we're going to use it. Then the other thing I did, and I don't have it out here, I used the itty bitty, here we go, itty bitty greetings, and I stamped a many thanks, and I embossed it with copper embossing powder. And now I'm going to come down here and... Punch this out with the classic label punch. So I've got this and this. And I thought, well, why not? We can just kind of put these two together. How about that? Add a little glue, very little glue. And I'm just going to kind of offset this a little bit. How about just like that? That's kind of cool, right? 
Now, I've got mini dimensionals here. And I'll put one here and one here. I think people are talking about dogs now. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you guys talking to Sharon? Sharon lost her little Maltese. It was pretty sad. We're so sorry, Sharon. It's always hard when you, lo when you lose a fur baby, right? Look at it. That's pretty, right? Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to tell you. Here's what I'm going to do. I shouldn't have put this vellum layer on quite yet, but I did. So now we have to deal with how we're going to fix it. I want to put some adhesive behind this layer. So I'm just going to grab a mini glue dot. Okay? And I'm going to lift this up. Put a mini glue dot right behind our classic label. Bam! And now we are very secure with our vellum. Last but not least, I'm going to grab... What am I grabbing? Four dimensionals. Oh, here they are. I created, I had a whole bunch out here. We're going to put some more dimensionals on this layer. And add this to the front of our card. Now you got to be careful because you want this to fit in an envelope so you can't go over the edges. Look how pretty that is. Very crisp and clean. Lots of pizzazz going on with the copper foil and the silver embossing and then a little copper layer there. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Love this. Now, um, did I have another? Yep, I did. I have got a piece here and I'm going to again embellish my envelope flat because I think that'll be really pretty. Hang on, my glue is stuck in here. Screaming to get out! Here we go. Now, you could color your flowers here with the purple posy marker. That would be fun. And I think I'll do that, but I'm not going to do that on camera here because we've got a lot of things to make tonight. I'm not messing around. <laughs> I got lots to show you tonight. You know, it's always funny. I'm never like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do for Facebook Live? It's like, oh my gosh, what can I not show them because I have too many things I want to show you. Especially when I'm having fun with a new product. I can't wait to get my hands on that ornate garden suite. Because I think that is going to be just gorgeous. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Yeah, so here's our beautiful little card. I do like that. In the background, this is the original one that I made. And I didn't put that gold foil behind it. I do. I like that. That's really pretty, right? Okay, so there's our next card. Let's get the next one out. I'll save this because I might use that. I got an extra many things. Who knows? If you screw it up, you can punch out another one. All right. Oh, things are falling. I don't know what that was. Here we go. Next, we are going to... Oh, yeah. I promised you guys this. Promise you. Let me put this back in here so I don't lose it. And I think it's time for a beverage break. All right. Wet my whistle. I'm good. Now, let's see how this is going to go. This is soft sea foam cardstock. And I am going to bring in some, oh, that's Whisper White. I probably need vanilla. I'm thinking I need vanilla with this, but I'm not sure. So we'll figure it out. And then I need our vellum again. So we're going to combine the vellum. And I've got the Shimmer Detailed Laser Cut Specialty Paper. Now that's a mouthful, right? Yeah. Thank you, Jody. Thank you so much. I just saw Jody said, oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Now look at this stuff, you guys. I'm going to take this out. This is the first time I'm using this. And 
This is glimmer. Can you see the glimmer on it? Yeah. So you can use the yellow side, which is like vanilla. And that's why I got out some very vanilla pieces here. Okay. Or you can turn it over and use the white side. And I think what we're going to do is turn it over and use the white side. So we have to look at this a little bit. Holy cow, this is absolutely scrumptious. Now, how many do you get in here? That's one. This is two. It's all separated by tissue paper. Here's three. Holy cow. Oh, look it. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even know. There's different patterns. Look at this one. Mm. And then you get one, two, three pieces of that also. I think I'm going to use this one. Here we go. I'm going to put this one back. And it is delicate, so you want to, you know, be nice to it. But I love that it's separated with the tissue paper so that it keeps it nice. There we go. Let me get it back in place here. I'll just set this behind me. Oh, how gorgeous is this? Holy cow. This is absolutely stunning. Here's borders right here. Those are really pretty. All right. Hang tight. <clears throat> and again, shimmer detailed laser cut specialty paper. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this new vellum and again this you can get this free with your $50 order I've got my little guillotine cutter in here whoops hang on things are sticking and now I'm gonna go off the screen a little bit uh, Barb is asking is that in our catalog or mini catalog this is in the annual catalog yeah so I'll show it to you because I know a lot of people don't even see it well if I could find my catalog I would show oh here it is so all of our specialty paper is back here once we get done with all of you know this paper then you start coming into the specialty paper. On the bottom of page 169 is the Shimmer Detailed Laser Cut Specialty Paper. It's $14.50. You get six sheets, three each of two designs. All right. Here we go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull in my big paper cutter here. I didn't realize that this was actually um, like a panel like this was a panel I'm gonna use this panel I'm bringing in my paper cutter now if you guys don't have a paper cutter this is a new one from Stampin Up it's really nice I have been very happy with it and hang on my crown is falling we can't have that I am going to put this in here I'm gonna bring my cutting blade right down here and that's what's nice about this paper cutter too because you can do stuff like this I'm just going to cut right over to there. Okay, so I just cut right here. And now I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to cut just a little bit more. Oops. Stab it. Right there to there. Yep, that should be good. Okay, now I'll use my snips to do the rest. And here we go. <laughs> this is cool stuff. Now the rest of this you can use for other things, right? We've got these borders here and all this other really cool stuff. Now the cool thing is, is like this is kind. This is an off-white or a cream color with a lot of shimmer in it. This side is white, and you can sponge this or leave it white. You can color it whatever color you want or leave it white. It's completely up to you. Let me set that aside. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in my little guillotine here. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to use that. Not not quite yet. I'm going to take this off like that just like that okay now this little piece right here is connected I'm gonna snip that a little bit there we go this one up here 
I'm not going to snip it straight off. I'm going to do a little bit of a curve so it doesn't look, you know, goofy, like you just hacked it off. Nobody wants their cards to look like they're hacked off. There we go. <clears throat> Here comes another one. <laughs> Get that out of my way. <clears throat> my throat is really dry tonight. There we go. This one, what are you going to do about that leaf? Well, I'm going to come in just like that. And just like that. Looks completely natural. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. I got like this little catch in my throat. And then I think I'll come right up like that. Oh, we have to do the same thing right here with this piece of grass or leaf or whatever it is. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I've got my card base here. Get all the little scraps out of my way. I am going to burnish this edge good. This is my soft sea foam. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to use the white side because I like that side better. But before we do that, I've got some, um, I think these are all, yep, four inch strips of this vellum paper. And I am just going to cut various strips. And I don't know how many I'm going to need, and I'm not measuring, but they're about mm, 3 eighths, 5 eighths inches. Okay, so I just did that with the pool party. Now I'm going to come in with the purple posy and do the same thing. Do a little thinner one. These are just various sizes and widths. Got four of those. Now we're going to do the green, the soft sea foam. And again, just cutting strips. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to do something really fun with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. Now I want these to be various lengths. I don't want them all to be four inches. So I think what I'm going to do is just grab a few of them. I'm just going to cut a little bit off the end. This is, this isn't rocket science. Don't fret over it. Well, how much did you cut off? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'll leave some of them long, cut off some more. Here's some more. Oh, I almost was going to stab myself, but I thought twice about it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to start with a purple. Oh, hang on. Where is, here it is. I'm looking for, there it is, my little sponge. Because I'm going to glue these on here, and I don't want to see any adhesive through there. So if you use a tape runner, you're going to see adhesive. But instead, we're going to use our sponge and our silicone craft sheet. I'm going to do this on the back. A little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. This is a really nice way to do vellum because you won't be able to see your adhesive through there. Because it's always a tricky thing when you're dealing with vellum, right? Yeah, so here we go again. And I'm going to put this one down here. Now notice this one is a little bit longer. Got that like that. Now I'm gonna bring in a green one, and it's also a different width. If I can get a hold of it. <laughs> Half the battle. And now I'm gonna make this one slightly crooked. Does that make some of you crazy? I know, right? Yeah, some people will get crazy from that. So you can make your straight, because you do whatever you want, and whatever you're comfortable with, and whatever makes you you happy with your final result. Come in here with a little purple one and again I'm going to do this a little bit crooked. And here comes our pool party again. Now I'll just do this one. I'll just leave a little bit of a gap in there. Oops, hang on. This one's a little shorter. Let's see, I want to see, I want to kind of stagger these. 
Oh, that one's a longer one. Oh, hang on. Let's stack them up like this and see what we got going on. Okay, so these are longer ones. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. All right, so now we need another green one. Here's a green. This is a great way, you guys, to use up little strips of paper that you have, right? We all have them. We all save them. Do we ever use them? It's a problem. <laughs> I know. I struggle with it. I've got packs of paper that have little strips all over in them. And this is just, I know I had to cut this because I don't have any strips of this yet. But this is just a great way to use up all those little strips. That one's very crooked. And let's see, here's a little, do I need another one? Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to put another one on here. There we go. I'm just going to overlap it a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Very imperfect. <laughs> but I like that. All right, now what we're going to do, I'm going to get some more glue out here. Now you could add glue to the back of this flower image however you want, but I thought as long as I've got this out, this is going to be really simple. Now you want to make sure you're not sticking this down in this glue that you already put on here, right? On the craft sheet. So you got to kind of be mindful of that. And here comes this. And this is going to go a little bit crooked also. Oh, what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then I had some, oh, here's some, I'm going to stick with the white strips. So here comes this and I'm going to do, hmm, I think, I think I like purple posy, but I don't see that ink pad. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I just dumped over all my stamps. Ink. Well, we're gonna have to pick a different color. Um, no, I don't want to. Hang on, take a drink, intermission. There it is. Oh, this is a purple posy. Oh, I know why I can't find Purple Posy. We don't have Purple Posy. <laughs> I'm going to use Highland Heather. <laughs> That's why. It's like, where's my Purple Posy? Yeah, Purple Posy isn't an ink. Okay, this is Highland Heather. Stand up and see if I can get this on here straight. This is just a three-quarter inch piece of Whisper White. I did pretty darn good, didn't I? Yeah. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Add my dimensionals. Ooh, everything's so quiet now. My computer was whirling. It was like, and now it quit. Now I feel like I'm alone. Are you guys still there? Hang on, I'm gonna come back to my Facebook page because I was away from it for a second. Okay. Here, oh, I don't know if I like that. Hang on. I think I'm going to pull this up here just a little bit. Yep, that's what I want. Right like that. Ta-da! Now, where did this idea come from? Well, Stampin' Up! has something called Succeed Weekly, and every week they give us card ideas. And this was one of the card ideas from the Succeed Weekly using the new vellum. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. That's something that everybody has access to when you become a discount shopper on my team is you get the Succeed Weekly um, via an email every Tuesday morning. So that's where I came up with my idea from. I thought, pretty cute, I'm gonna make that. And I got to use that beautiful shimmer paper. And I used the white side, but I certainly could have used the shimmer side. The detailed laser part is what I really love. 
All right, I'm coming back to my Facebook page so I can see what's going on. Thank you guys so much. I'm feeling the love. Oh, Carol said, I hope you're not getting sick. I don't think so. I just have a dry spot in my throat. You know how like you keep trying to drink and get the dry spot to not be dry? Yeah, I don't know what's, it's weird. All right, next. So we have this card. Now I've got something else that I wanted to share with you. Because, you know, we had a whole bunch of new products go live. Um, let's see. I'll leave this right here till I get everything unpacked. Got these. Then I got this cool product. And this, oh, this one's kind of complicated. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, which one should I show you first? I'm going to show you the easy one first, because I think you're really going to like that. And then I'll show you what else you can do with it, because it's pretty cool. And we are going to be using the Label Me Lovely Punch. This is like actually the first time, I think it's the first time I've pulled this punch out to use it. So I thought, yay me. Like I told you, I get fixated on stuff. You guys can watch my progression, how I just kind of go crazy with a couple sweets and don't move on to the next one. <laughs> so this is the first time I'm kind of using this punch, I think. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way now. I'll bring all those cards back in before, before we're done so you can take a look at all of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my Flirty Flamingo Dark Stampin' Blend Marker. And let me see, is that the, is, do I want the dark or do I want the light? I don't know. Let's try the light one. Here comes Flirty Flamingo Light. We'll see what color that is. I think I like the dark. I want it to kind of blend in. Okay, so we're going to go with dark. Dark Flirty Flamingo. That's what we're using. Thank you guys so much. I'm just kind of glancing at the screen over here. It's really hard to stamp and think and talk and keep your wits about you and read the messages and answer the questions. <laughs> so that's why I say if I miss something, you just keep asking that question. People will start putting capital letters on and kind of yelling at me, but not really. I know you're just trying to get my attention going, Kelly, what is this? So, um, oh, and I have a question for all of you before I go too much further. One of my customers messaged me and we can't figure this out. And this is like unheard of that I can't figure out one of these things. This sweet little Easter card right here. Who knows where that grass is coming from? What dye is the grass coming from? Because we can't figure it out. It's not the golf set. Um, oh, did we figure out that it's the... Oh, you know what? I think we did figure out... It's the cattails without the cattails on the ends. I think I kind of forgot. <laughs> this? Is this the grass? I don't think it is. This has got too much bulk in it. Who knows where this grass is coming from? I'm going to scroll my screen so hopefully somebody can answer me. Becky says, or um, Vicky says it's from the annual catalog. What is the name of it? Sweet Silhouettes. All right, here we go. Sweet Silhouettes. Sorry, we've, we're taking a little break from stamping so that I can answer questions. Sweet Silhouettes. I don't see grass here. I don't see any grass. Mm -mm. I don't think that's it. Yeah, okay. So when somebody comes up with the answer, let me know. The bugs. Kathy says she thinks it's the bugs. This is going to be our last shot. So the bugs are right here, but that grass is, this grass is really long and wispy. Somebody just said friendly silhouette. I don't think so. Unless you know something I don't know. Oh, yes, yes. That's exactly right. And they took the little cattails off. Is there cattails on the end of those? Yeah, I think that's it. There we go. Thank you. I knew you guys would help me out. It's highly unusual that I do not know where something is coming from, but that 
really stumped me. Okay, I want you to color your silver metallic edged ribbon first. Yeah, see, stampers helping out stampers. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, everybody. Um, you want to color this first so it has time to dry. It does take a little bit of drying time. This is not even feeling damp anymore, but I want I want you to do that one first. Then I've got 30 Flamingo. This is four and a quarter by 11. I'm going to, I've scored it at five and a half, and I'm just going to fold it in half. Let me get my glue out of the way here. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take, oh, where's my stamp set? Here it is. Okay, who loves this Tags in Bloom? Who is in love with Tags in Bloom? I am. I am. So, it matches the Label Me Lovely punch. It also matches that other punch called Fancy something or another. I can't remember. What's it called? The other punch. <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, but I love this. I love these flowers. And as I was playing with this today... You've got two-step stamping, so you can stamp the outline, and then you can stamp all these little bits and pieces in the detailed stamps, and that's so quick and easy, right? So here we go. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to open this up so that I can keep it laying flat. I've got a Memento ink pad here. Now, when I have a big stamp like this, it's just easier for me than doing this to bring my ink pad to my stamp so I can, you know, see good what's going on here. And I'm going to stamp this right on the front of my card. There we go. Boom. Next thing, this is a quick and easy card. This is just a really fast way to use this type of a stamp set. Now I'm going to bring in this punch and I'm going to get this all lined up perfectly. Gosh, I hope Lord help me. I want it to be nice and straight. I'm going to punch that out. Oh, I did a really good job. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I've got a whisper white layer. This is four by five and a quarter. And what I'm going to do with that, hang on, is I'm going to stamp happiness looks gorgeous on you. And I could send this to a million different people, right? Um, well, maybe not a million because I don't really have that many friends, but I do have a lot of friends. I've got a lot of you <laughs> and I consider you my friends. I'm gonna stamp this right inside this little window and I'm gonna grab some Flirty Flamingo ink to do that with. So. Here we go. I'm going to stand up. Now, I placed this in here where I would normally glue it, but I haven't glued it yet, just in case I make a mistake. Happiness looks gorgeous on you. Oh, love it. All right, next, I'm going to take this little detailed flower in my Memento ink, and let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to stamp that right down here. And then I have the two-step stamping for that flower. Oh, let me get this the, oh, did you see what I almost did? Who was screaming, Kelly, close your ink pad. I know you guys are always rooting for me, right? Here we go, I'm gonna take this. I need to look at this and make sure that I've got it lined up right. just doesn't look right to me so hang on Does that look right no that's just this way once you get this lined up then you'll know yep that's the way okay there we go oh I didn't do a very good job but you know it's hard over here <laughs> you know how hard it is over here all right next and remember I said this was a quick and easy card. The next one is a little more involved, but it's super pretty. I think you're going to love it. And here comes... There we go. Isn't that pretty? Now, here's what I'm doing with the ribbon. I'm going to bring this ribbon in here, and I'm just going to tie this right over here in a nice little knot. 
I love that silver edge on here, and I thought, I want to make that silver pop a little bit. Oh, and by the way, this ribbon is 10 inches long. It probably doesn't need to be that long, because I'm obviously going to cut a bunch off, but yeah, so probably like 8 inches. 8 inches would be good. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Okay, now, to jazz this up just a touch, I'm going to bring in that Wink Estella. We're really on a Wink Estella binge tonight. Let me get some more in the bottom here. There we go. And I'm just going to color my flower, or all the images, the leaves and the flowers, with the Wink of Stella. And this is a great way, if you don't want to color different colors, you just want something quick and simple. There we go. I hope you can see that glimmer in there. It just adds a little bit, and then we needed just a tiny bit more on the front of this card. And I'm looking for my embellishments because things are getting to be quite a little mess out here. Can't find them, so I'm gonna grab some new ones. Hang tight. Have you guys seen this? This is my embellishment thing. <laughs> I've got tons of embellishments. Tons. Oh, here we go. I'm going to grab some of these little metallic pearls because I wanted something with silver in it that's going to carry that silver through, and I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect. Mine are kind of jumbled up. They've been through the ringer. So... Here we go. This carries that silver through and it just adds a little bit of bling. You can put as many on as you would like. Super simple and easy little card. Love that it all color coordinates. Now the other one that I made, I did with soft sea foam. Which one do you guys like better? I just like how simple they are. And I like coloring that Wink of Stella on there, right? Yeah. Is it seriously quarter to nine already? Oh my goodness, I think I need to quit. <laughs> you guys need me to quit? Because holy cow, I didn't even realize it was that late. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm usually more mindful of my time. All right. I think I'm going to save the other card for next week because I can do that. You guys will love it. I'm going to bring these cards back in here and then I'll show you those swap cards and then I will let you go to bed. That seems like the right thing to do. So here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me get this out of the way. I'm, uh, I have another card to share with you using the tags in bloom. Now, don't forget, this is a free stamp set with your $100 order. There's 19 different stamps in here. You've got all these two-step stamping. Um, we've got the happiness looks gorgeous on you, but I love the I miss your face. I love that one. Wishing you the best just for you. Pretty flowers. Here's the other one that we made. And again, I'm going to color these flowers in so they match the flower that we colored on the front. This is the um, specialty foil paper that's free with a $50 order we've got the vellum here that's free with a $50 order and then the welcome Easter and the best dress designer series paper this is my kit class you can still get in on that kit um, until noon central time on Friday or a little longer once you can't find the button to register for it anymore, that means I've taken it down and closed it up. So I just want you to know that. So here's all the cards that I showed you. I guess I did kind of show you a lot, didn't I? I didn't mean to take up this much of your time. I'm so very sorry. And I need to show you those swap cards I promised you. So we're going to fly through those. Now, remember, as you're looking at these swap cards... You can, once this video is posted, you can pause it and make it freeze frame on any of these cards so that you can take a better look at them. But this is using the coordination product release, the happy birth or the birthday dies right here. The item code is 
three five nine zero they're twenty seven dollars you can get the stamp set for free it's called happy birthday to you it is part of our celebration promotion so you can get a free stamp set and then you can get the happy birthday dies and that's these are a bunch of swap cards that I just got recently using the happy birthday to you stamp set with the happy birthday dies and aren't these pretty I love this ombre ribbon this is in our annual catalog here's some of the sequins that we're using with the um, welcome Easter card kit too so I love those little iridescent they're self adhesive beautiful beautiful Isn't that pretty with that silver foil and silver embossed yeah gorgeous here's another purple one uses that little mini striped ribbon I used that on my other card I didn't show you yet that I kind of ran out of time for. You guys have seen this. I made this with the bumble with the golden honey paper. That's all sold out, unfortunately, but it's still pretty. <laughs> Here's another one again with the bumblebee paper, the golden honey paper. So sorry, but it was popular and it was amazing. I hope you got some. I actually have some and um, I have kind of an exciting announcement next week is my 16 year anniversary with Stampin' Up! and I think I'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways and so I'm thinking that that Golden Honey Designer Series paper will be tops on my list to be giving away so you guys watch for that yeah um let's see how does this card this card goes like nope it goes like this so she stamped down the side I really like that it was it's very interesting this is from my friend Candy she's an amazing stamper look at that this is on designer series paper the flowers are stamped right on there very pretty I love this one too this uses that big floral background that's in the um, spring mini catalog along with the happy birthday to you stamps look at this in gold and soft suede I would have never thought to put those together and then we've got um yellow I'm kind of sitting here going how did they do that I'll bet you that's a cool technique I'm gonna have to ask Judy about that but I think she probably colored it with our um, chalk marker and then came over it with yellow I don't know I'm going to have to ask that girl. But I love these little leaves coming out the back. Very pretty. Here's another one. Love, love, love. Some Blackberry Bliss, right? Yeah. Beautiful. This one is gorgeous. This is Highland Heather. Very pretty spring colors. Uh, this one is from Mindy Gray. Look how pretty that is. Now there's not even a cake on here at all because you have the dyes that die cut the flowers on the cake. You could just use the flowers. Right? <laughs> Susan said, time always flies when you're having fun. Right? I know. I had no idea that I was almost pushing two hours here. Look how pretty that is. I love that pop of silver. Now those little leaves in these dies, it not only die cuts the leaves, but it embosses some veins onto them. So that's really pretty. Look at this gorgeousness from my friend Lori. She offset the little side over here with the silver foil paper. And then this is our Peacock, Noble Peacock specialty paper behind here. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, gorgeous. That's the striped from the Best Dressed. And this is the designer series paper from the best dress, too. Here's another one. I think this one is also Lori's card. I think I'm not 100% sure. But I love the embossing folder in the background here. Gorgeous. Here's that basket weave folder again. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Oh, you know what else I forgot to tell you guys? On Friday, my... Um, Birthday Bonanza, second class that I'm doing with Birthday Bonanza comes out on Friday. And I wanted to tell you guys, all of the cards that are in this class are different from the ones that were in the, I think it was either January or February was my kit class. This class is totally different. It has nine cards in it plus two treat containers. Um, all the directions and private videos for that. You can get it 
in the online class by itself. You can get it with a pre-cut cardstock pack for a limited time, or you can buy the whole bundle from me and get the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus and the class for free. You'll find all those details on my blog, which is right here on Friday. And if you're going to place an order, don't forget to use this host code if your order is under $150. That really helps me out, and I appreciate it. So this is really cool. I, this is the tufted background um, embossing folder. And then look how they used this. Kind of just pushed it off the side and cut it off. I love that. That's a really neat idea. This is the stitched rectangles. Very cool. Here's another one. Split those flowers apart. Used another one of, this is the so sweetly, stitched so sweetly dies here. Very pretty. Ooh, this is, uses that frame that's embossed, again, with that purple ombre ribbon. This is a triple time stamping, so we've got three separate layers here. There's lots of Wink of Stella on there, too. They're so pretty. That beautiful, beautiful ribbon. This is our um, some, seaside spray. Oh, almost couldn't think of it. This one is gorgeous. I love this. This is by um, one of my team members, Jay. She did a gorgeous job. She used the Wink of Stella on the cake back here. Beautiful. This is the Parisian Blossoms Designer Series paper. Look how pretty that looks. And then this is the vellum again that you can get free with a $50 order. Absolutely love this. This is our Subtles 6x6 Designer Series paper. She stamped that happy birthday on. Love it. This ribbon is the white ribbon that you can dye yourself. I think it might still be on back order right now, but it's coming soon. It'll be available again. All right, you guys. Oh, what a busy night, right? And now I'm hungry. So I need to go eat something. And notice that my throat is not got that sticky dry thing in it anymore. Like, I don't know what was, you know, you know what I mean, right? How that happens where you get a dry spot in your throat. If I missed anything, now is the time to ask. I am sitting here. Oh, Marcia said she's going to do some screenshots. Yep, that's what I would do too. Thank you guys so much. Cindy says cards are just gorgeous. Thank you so much. I love sharing these things with you. Um, you guys are my fun every Sunday night too. You guys think that that I'm your entertainment. But let me tell you, you're my fun too. I so appreciate each and every one of you following me. This is how I make my living. This And, and by sharing and helping me grow my business, um, we benefit each other, really. Like, I love spending time with you guys on Sunday night. So, I'm glad that you take the time out of your day or evening to spend a little time with me too. Because I wouldn't have so much fun if I didn't have all you guys watching me, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Watch for my blog hop on Thursday. I've got another um, blog post that will be going live on Friday all about the Birthday Bonanza new online class. It's different than the last one that I had. And then also on Saturday, the Stampers Dozen, we're going to have like a final farewell to celebration. Celebration ends on the 31st. And if you haven't taken advantage of that now, you'll find both of these brochures online on my blog. They're in the right-hand column. We've got this one. Right now, the um, Baker's Twine is gone. Also gone is the Kerchief Card Kit. This is that Happy Birthday to You set that I just showed all these swap cards in. And the other thing that's gone now is the Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper. We have a brand new brochure. We have some beautiful products in here. Here's that flowering foils, free with a $50 order. Some great ideas up here. We have the Rise and Shine, free with a $100 order. There are 15 different stamps in here, and it matches up with the Cup of Cheer dies from the Holiday Mini Catalog. You can still order those. Also, the Well-Dressed, I showed you some Fabulous swap cards with all of these last week. Here's our So Very Vellum specialty paper. You can get either one of these free with a $50 order. And then this is the Tags and Bloom that we just used right here on, on these two, three cards. And this is free with a $100 order. You get 19 different stamps in here. And it coordinates with the label 
Me Lovely and the Label Me Fancy Punches. We just used one of those tonight. So, all right. I don't see any questions coming in here that I missed. I hope I didn't miss any. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I will enjoy my dinner. Steve was cooking while I was getting started here tonight. So, I can't wait to see what he made. Oh, Mary says, try putting a wobble on the sheep. Well, Mary, the kit, the um, Welcome Easter Kit class has a card in it that uses wobbles. So you also get two wobbles because you're going to be making two cards with it. That's included in the kit. So that's really cool, too. Great minds think alike, right? I know. I love it when stuff moves. Like, you love to wobble things, right? <laughs> right. All right, you guys, I will be back live again on March 15th at 7 p.m. Central Time. I hope most of you didn't forget about um, Daylight Savings Time because I know that can really throw people off. And ugh, I always grumble because I have to get up an hour earlier. I know we all do in the morning. And I have a Monday morning conference call every morning at 8 a.m., which means I'm really going to be kind of getting up at 7. That is early. Well, I have to get up before that. So like 6.45. Ugh, hate it. <laughs> and my handyman's coming tomorrow to start that um, remodel on the bedroom. So I'm kind of excited about that. New flooring, paint on the walls. He's going to also fix the walls because I've got some texture on them and I want that gone. So I'm excited about that too. Okay, I need to go eat. I need to go to the bathroom. Maybe too much information, but we're all friends here and you guys probably have to pee too, right? Right. Okay. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Pop back on Wednesday. I will have my tip of the week video on Wednesday. Also, you're going to find a video on Thursday and a video on Friday and a video on Saturday. Holy cannoli. I thought I had kind of a light week. Oh, and I have a card buffet Saturday. Oh my Lord, I need to leave. I've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.